Hello everyone, my name is Hassan and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we're going to talk about decision tree regressor. Decision trees are predictive models that can be used in classification or regressions. It identifies a set of binary rules to calculate the target value, uh, the target value. And those estimations are defined by asking a series of questions to the data where each question would minimize the possible value for our target value for our target uh, variable until it achieves a confident level of decision for making a one single prediction. Here we're gonna see uh, visually how the decision tree would do uh, data splitting uh, based on uh, this scatter plot where we have two independent variables x1 and x2 and the main intuition uh, behind this model is to be able to extract this information entropy and uh, defining uh, multiple groups in our data set. So for this example over here, the model would set this binary decision uh, by splitting the data into uh, a split one because it's almost visually, uh, we, can, we can observe it visually because we're having only two independent, vari uh, two independent variables. But of course, uh, this, those splits are more complex to observe when we're working with higher dimension uh, in our data set. So it, it would apply multiple splits based on the information entropy we're having and this will end up into uh, this will end up to have a decision tree that looks like this where the green nodes are the answer for our binary questions that were defined by the model and those green values would satisfy to be the right estimate for the target variable we're, we're trying to estimate or predict and now let's go into the technical implementation using python so over here, we're going to be checking the position salary data. We got this data from uh, Super Data Science uh, website. Uh, this data set uh, considers of, uh, is considered uh, like a minimal one. It contains uh, the position, the level, and the salary for employees. Uh, the level column is the numerical representation of the position. Of course, we can, uh, we can, they are like redundant columns, but just different. Uh, way of presenting uh, our data. First of all, we're going to import the main libraries in our work, the NumPy, Matplotlib, and Pandas. We're going to run this cell. We're going to import this data set into Pandas, into this uh, variable data set, and uh, use the level column to be the X or the independent uh, variable we're going to be using for the model. And the Y variable is the salary. We're going to run this cell over here. And then from sklearn.tree, we're going to import the decision, decision tree regressor and fit the X and Y values we uh, got from the previous cell, which is the level and the salary over here. And now we have this decision tree model trained on this minimal data set. So if we try to predict uh, like for a certain level, let's say 8, 8.5 value that is uh, that wasn't seen before by the model. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna end, uh, it's gonna uh, give us a prediction of 300k, something similar and makes sense actually, something between 8 and 9. It's closer to 8, of course. Uh, but keep in mind that we're just uh, showing how the model is working. Uh, we cannot consider this like a generalized uh, answer for, uh, for this prediction. Uh, due to this uh, small data set we're trying to use. And over here, we're gonna visualize the results and how they look like in our decision tree model. <clears throat> so those red dots are uh, are used for uh, for identifying the, the actual values and the blue ones are for the predicted values. You can see it looks like a step, uh, like step function or stirs 
uh, it it deals with uh, with those positions that exist between this range and this range let's say as one value observation and as much as we can uh, as we go more deeper into the number of uh, of trees or number of questions we want to utilize this would be uh, more specific and narrower if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please comment below don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted and thank you for watching.